Welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 14th of February 2024, the day after US CPI was hotter than expected and the markets have responded accordingly. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look at the headlines. Of course, hotter than expected US CPIs have already referenced, sparked selling equities. The Dow had its worst day since March 2023 and 90% of the NYSE declined. Russell was hit particularly hard, the small cap index down in excess of 4%, which reversed completely the gains that it had over the last few days. US futures near neutral in the early Asian trading. Asian markets are following that weak US lead. The ASX got hammered initially on open. Once all stocks open at around about 10 past 10 Eastern time, we're down pretty close to 1.5%. Uh, and beneath that 7500 level on the index we have recovered slightly we are still down a percent with a general sell-off across most sectors european futures are pointing to a lower open this afternoon as u.s markets go up further subsequent to european markets closing yesterday and not surprisingly on that hot and expected cpi data we saw move up in bond yields and the u.s dollar surged higher to reach three-month highs consequently of course gold dropped and it did drop through a key 2000 level. Copper managed to hold on to 367 support, even though it was down a little. And all was the exception to the rule in the commodity space, edging higher again to get pretty close to that 200 EMA. Bitcoin also did very well over the last week. And we saw a pause at that psychologically important 50,000 level. It is holding there, which is a result for the crypto bulls. Be interesting to see what the next move is on Bitcoin over the next day or so. Earnings will continue to influence sentiment, but there may be some follow through or fallout from that CPI number from last night in the very short term. We've got UK CPI and Eurozone GDP due later today as well. And that may influence not only the local currencies, but play into the perhaps we haven't got inflation under control narrative that seems to be the market chatter today couple of charts that caught our eye. Computer Share Limited on the ASX are one of those stocks which is booking the overall trend. This is on the back of good earnings. And you can see there we push right back hard up against this resistance at around about 26.34. We've got a price target of around about $29 on this. If we do breach that level, it's certainly worthwhile to wait and to make sure that the setup is completed. Really difficult day in FX markets, pretty flat across the board after last night's significant action. We are just keeping a, an eye on the euro yen, which has moved back down to yesterday's pivot level at 161.28. There's possibly a move up to retest 161.60 to the upside, or if we do breach, maybe a move down to 160. So around about a 30 pip move either way. But logically, it might be prudent to wait until after that GDP data out later this afternoon. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.